Hello everybody, this is Chris Higgins, your YouTube daddy of Blackpool. This is part two. Can Ginger fix it? That's the question. Now he's been, he's checked out, yeah, and apparently everything he said yesterday was total rubbish and it wasn't that at all, yeah? And it was a hopper, so he thinks. So apparently we're going to replace that. So explain your logic. Right, so we went through all the main parts. So we checked the PSU, we checked it twice, we checked the main bulb, we checked it twice, we checked the climate, we checked it twice. Obviously there's a dip in the voltage, but there's no signal back from somewhere else to confirm that that's why it was alarming out. So I've had the MPU5 manual out, gone through it, I've spoke to a couple of other people as well, which obviously confirms is a good thing in all fairness. And we've all come to the same conclusion. When we tested the hopper yesterday, we tested it for the motor burning, not the actual octo. So I have now reconditioned a hopper deck for it. If we should be all right, we should get a fire from the machine. It's a hope and pray really, I suppose. It's so, so basically, yeah, everything he said yesterday was rubbish. Yep. So he phoned up his mates who actually knew what they were doing. And uh, they've told him, don't be an idiot. That's not what you do. You do this, okay? Is that the, uh, the upshot? Is that the what? Sorry? Is that the upshot of it? Oh. I've summarised it quite yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, correct, yeah. But yeah. yeah, yeah. I've, <laughs> I've summarised it properly, okay? Now, the question is, would Peter be able to work this out by himself? Or, or would he have to phone a friend as well? There's always a phone a friend available, pal. Always a phone a friend, always absolutely, a yes. Everyone likes a bit of a phone a friend. So now, speed, but... now he's obviously checking that the leads are exactly the same. Step one. Yellow, three, three. Right, six and three, six and three. Yeah, that's perfect. Green, six out. Right. So theoretically, yeah. This should boot. This should work. This, should work. this should work. No apparent reasons or any other reason why it shouldn't. Because everything checks out. All every part's been checked twice, as you've seen last night on the video. Um, the only part that wasn't double, double, double checked was this hot bomb. Even though we did take it apart, we only checked to see if the motor was burnt out, not the actual sensor that runs along uh, the actual hot bomb. So here we go. Well, it's not making a noise, which is good. And we're in. What's your phone there? We're in. Okay, so what we're going to do now, guys, yeah, I'm just going to put that there for one second, yeah, and the, stick the uh, bottom thing on. And what the best thing the man did is let's actually play the game. Yep. <laughs> Got empty of a hopper. And then, so what we'll do, guys, we'll actually play the game. So we need to uh, chuck some of these coins into the hopper first, don't we? Yeah. If we don't do that, we won't have any money in the hopper, will we? So if you, if you chuck the money, that money in the hopper then, and then I'll leave a couple of quid here to play. So what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to play the game till we come to a winning part. So I want to make sure that the hopper's actually paying out. But the main, the, the, the first problem, as you're aware, was that the uh, uh, the top board had gone, all the lights had gone at the top board. So we replaced that absolutely fine without a problem. 
Because I can see that's working now. Really I'll let you lock that up after we've finished. Okay, so do you want to play? And there's some pennies and we're going to watch him play and let's see if we can... Well, there we go, he's failed straight away. He's not taking coins. Yeah, the coin back wasn't seated, wasn't seated properly. Well, it's taking money to start with, that's always good. I know you're about to say, guys, I've got a few bulbs out, but I'll do that once Ginger's gone. I won't need his help on that one, I can change bulbs. A 17 year process there, Chris. That is, yeah, I've worked out how to change bulbs. <laughs> it was lucky it's got working because uh, we were talking about if it takes too long, I'm going to stick a hammer through it. Oh, See if she can get away. Wow. 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 Winner, winner, chicken dinner, he's won! That's got a lot more. We need to check the hopper anyway. we'll take that. All we want to do is see if it collects, yeah? That's it, that's all we need to do. So that's £2, so we should be collecting £2 once you play these credits off. There we go, it's all working! He fixed it! There we go. I had no, I had no doubt in my mind. Yeah. Right, there you go. <laughs> there he fixed it. Guys. Right, thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed this video and seeing what the process is that people go through when we actually check machines and what the downfalls are and what you should do and what you shouldn't do. Uh, might seem a bit cock, uh, cock eye sometimes, but it was the right process. We go through, we check the obvious stuff, we make sure there's nothing obvious going on things, we change. The motherboard, we change the hopper, we just check it all the way through, yeah? And then once you've done it all, make sure it's all running properly. So if you like this video, hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe, and more importantly, don't forget if you are in Blackpool, pop in and see Ginger, yeah? He's a great guy in the Metro Arcade, which is on Foxhall Road, just behind my place, yeah? And go and have a little bit of fun in there. And I'm sure we will sit down and have a chat with you. Thanks for watching this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from him. Bye, guys. See you later, guys.